Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're comparing DLSS 4 versus DLSS 5 and then the quality model, the performance model and the ultra performance model. So without any ado, let's get into it and yeah, let's get talk a, bit, uh, a little bit about it. So honestly in the quality presets, I didn't see a huge difference. I saw preset M, it looked a bit more sharp but i'm not really sure when i was playing off camera like i didn't see a difference at all honestly it is just when i rewatch the clip and really look at it but while playing i couldn't see it at all like yeah you can skip between this video and go forward and back to maybe find a difference but i couldn't find it here i think preset help the performance mode looks best honestly but it also takes uh, a little bit of a performance hit but like minimum like a couple fps only so that doesn't really bother me so yeah this one it looks really nice honestly it looks a bit better than this one and the preset k performance i also don't have a lot of still images or like photos because i don't know i'm running around in a game when i'm playing and i don't stop and zoom and slow-mo everything so yeah that is a bit how this video is gonna go like normal benchmarking like uh real things that real people do and of course also a uh normal benchmark from this game to compare it so yeah this is the preset k quality and the preset l performance because those two sh should look a bit the same but it honestly doesn't i still prefer preset k quality the preset l is made for the performance mode honestly and the preset m is made for ultra performance so i just wanted to check and show you guys that it is still a difference like even here like uh, ultra performance yeah it looks great but it doesn't hold up against the preset k quality mode I know they didn't claim anything around it, but I saw some people claim some things on Reddit and I just wanted to include it in the video. So this is just a benchmark so you guys can check uh, yeah, more or less the FPS, a bit of the visuals, but more like the FPS honestly. And uh, you see also in the bottom of the, sc of the screen a little overlay with uh, what presets it used. So... There you can actually see it is running preset K, preset L, preset M. And honestly, the FPS hit with quality mode. Yeah, if it was really sharper, it would be worth it. Because it is like 4 or 5 FPS or something. Like, I wouldn't mind. But even when I was driving in the game and running around, going from roof to roof. I have a katana build, so I like the, the dashing in there. Yeah, I honestly didn't see a huge difference. But I don't know, that might be me, but... Yeah, I I think I would still play this game at... Preset K quality mode. I see in the palm trees now that I look back at it... That it looked a bit better. But here is the performance at preset K, preset L and preset M. And here I can immediately see that I that is something I also saw when playing is that the performance mode looks better in preset L. Like I could really see a difference between performance K and preset L. Performance. Wow, a lot of letters and names. <laughs> So yeah, the FPS here is also, it is a bit more of a hit. It is like uh, between 5 and 10 FPS. Oh, well, now it is actually the same. But when playing, I saw like a 4 or 5 FPS difference. Not huge, but yeah, if you play it performance, definitely worth it to go to preset L. Also, I noticed when you enable ray reconstruction, uh, it doesn't work. It defaults everything to preset D. So this is the ultra performance and yeah here also i saw a huge difference like real pretty nice 
difference when playing the game and you actually gain some performance i know a lot of people claim that uh you get way less performance i don't know if that has something to do with the with, with the 50 series gpu i didn't test it yet on a 40 series but i will do that later today or tomorrow if i have some time but yeah ultra performance gained some fps in preset m which shouldn't be the case from all the stories i read on reddit maybe some people didn't test correctly i don't know um but yeah like the ultra performance looks really nice really crisp again it doesn't look like the quality mode but yeah it looks uh good yes preset k quality again with preset l performance because how nvidia in their official papers they said the preset k is going to be for dlaa and dlss quality the preset l is going to be focused for the performance and the preset m is going to be for the ultra performance so yeah I, I don't know why they would do that i don't know if it's better or anything but I don't know i just read some people couldn't switch between the dlss modes like uh, performance quality balance and those things i had no issues with this so i don't know what's up that they couldn't do it but i just installed it the new uh, beta nvidia app and i could switch just fine in the game and in the nvidia app so Yeah, here the preset k quality and the preset m ultra performance yeah i also noticed that the the l and the m had a bit of less ghosting when i was playing but yeah it is hard to record because it isn't always ghosting and to record for like an hour to maybe catch a second somewhere of ghosting yeah not worth it but uh, I didn't see it at all at LNM. So. Yeah, the ultra performance, I don't know. It, it looks really nice. Not as good as uh, quality. But if you have to play on ultra performance, yeah, I would say go for it. Uh, it's nice. And we saw earlier, it doesn't take an FPS hit. You actually gain some FPS. It looks nice, sharp, and crisp. If you want, you can uh, increase the D DLSS sharpness a little bit. So it gets more crisp. But yeah, even here at the palm trees looking. They look pretty similar, but yeah, of course, quality is a bit better. Here's Assassin's Creed Mirage with some uh, fast-paced action. Because not everything is going slow in games. And in this game, it is nice to run around and stuff. So it is a bit more uh, fast everything. To see if you guys actually see a difference in uh, uh, performance, visuals. It is not long clips or anything, but just some short ones. Here we see that the ultra performance is actually 10 FPS less than the preset K ultra performance. Instead of preset M, I mean. Yes, preset K quality with preset L performance. They have about the same FPS. But it doesn't look the same. Like the preset K quality, it looks uh, better. Really, you can see it here. It is really nice, sharp, crisp. Of course, YouTube might do some compressing. But yeah, there's nothing I can do about this. In a performance the preset l performance yeah it, it looks really great honestly i have nothing to complain about it but i can run the quality mode so i would definitely go for quality if you can run it here the preset k quality and the preset m ultra performance yeah the ultra performance looks great again but i would stick with preset k quality mode it just looks a bit more crisp Mm, FPS is about... Ah, you have some less FPS, but not like a huge amount of 
less FPS. And it looks amazing in this game. The ultra performance, it looks nice. But it has some... Uh, I don't know, some shimmering or something. Uh, it looks nice, but... I wouldn't play personally with it. So, yeah, a bit of a conclusion time. I honestly... Probably gonna stick with preset K quality on most games. And maybe for if there is a game, I can't think of a game on top of my head for a second, that I would need the performance mode. Then yeah, I would do definitely preset L performance mode because it looks a bit better. And if I would need the ultra performance mode, I would definitely stick with preset M because you gain at least in Cyberpunk some FPS. And it still looks amazing. Uh, in Assassin's Creed Sh Mirage. Yeah I would just stick with Reset K DLSS quality. It looks good. It plays good. The game is crazy good optimized. You have like a lot of FPS. And it looks great. So you guys have to check a bit also for yourself. Like if you really need it. Just go with the uh, performance mode on preset l it is made for it and if you guys need ultra performance go with preset m but if you are you guys are like me and didn't have issues at all with performance i personally would stick with preset k and then quality mode it looks good it plays good it's something we know for like a long time now and i honestly didn't see a huge difference between the quality modes in reset l and m on quality so yeah a little bit of an fps hit not that it is that important because it is really small again i didn't test this on other gpus at the moment i am going to do that so if you guys have questions about it i will test it with a 3060 ti and a rtx 4080 so let me know in the comments if you guys have questions and yeah let me also know in the comments what you guys are gonna use like uh yeah what do you think of the video and what you're gonna use also if you guys like the video please subscribe to the channel put a like put a comment and i will see you guys next time bye